Welcome back to the most anticipated event of this afternoon, Saturday the 21st. Uh, we are here for the grand finals of the Gigabyte Cafe LAN. I am joined by the only man outside the priesthood I have ever seen rock socks and sandals. It is Mr. Rob Enright Enron. Thank you. All the way around. It's, it's the other way around, <laughs> but the key thing is there. Never diss the sandals, you know. The sandals yeah. are important. Oh, I wasn't dissing them. They, 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 they give regard. perspective and pure, I would say, yeah, you, you just feel a woman with yourself when you wear the sandals. Yeah. But um, thank you very much for the introduction. Um, tell me, how have you felt about today? Uh, I have felt good about today. We do, of course, have in this grand finals, uh, EZW versus We Don't Bim Bam. Uh, much closer semi-finals for EZW. They went all the way to that game five and only won by a goal in it. So very, very close. Uh, on the other hand, we have We Don't Bim Bam coming in off a very quick three-game series, you'd have to say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we Don't Bim Bam are definitely the favourites. They're the number one seed for a good reason. Um, I would say that they're actually heavy favourites based off mm. of their performance. We don't know how good We Vicious got to be. I mm. watched them. They looked almost flawless on the rotation. Yeah. But they weren't playing flat out like We Don't Bim Bam do. They literally play like a different kind of pace. This might suit Easy W a bit more. Yeah, we have to wait and see. Mug didn't look that fresh um, yeah. in some of those games there. I have question marks over him and Blah Future was making a few errors as well. I don't see any weakness on the side of We Don't Bim Bam, mm. so I would probably with, go with them. With that said, I don't think We Don't Bim Bam were pushed at all in that last series, uh, and so they're kind of coming in. I think a little bit colder than Easy W. Easy W going all the way to game five, playing very close. You know there. They've got to be feeling warmed up, ready to go. They had to be on their best form. Whereas on the side of We Don't Bim Bam, they were kind of, I don't even think Bert, who is almost definitely the best player on that team, really did anything in that series because he didn't really have to do anything. You know, it was kind of everyone just taking pot shots as they felt like it, going for those clip plays and not necessarily showcasing very high level Rocket League all the time. No, I don't think it was the cleanest series, but they were so much better than the other team. Like it was like, Dale Esports just couldn't handle them. Like it was mm. a completely different kind of series. Now, unfortunately, the way the internet is set up, um, just for you guys at home, the reason why we didn't stream the We Vicious versus Easy Jubbly game is because it's on a separate network. There's two networks in here, and there's one set of PCs that's on the same network as the, uh, the streaming PC, which is why we can join it, and there's one that isn't. So, the reason why we picked We Don't Bim Bam and all that was because, well, not because we thought it was going to be a close game, but because we needed to see we don't bim bam in a game before in case. the finals. Yeah, <laughs> in before the finals, essentially. But um, yeah, it was a really close game, and oh very my. well played by both sides. Oh yeah, devastating for We Vicious in the end. But they got close, um, a few errors in the last game, um, mm. but they played their socks off, and yeah, did the easy W have came very close. Yeah, I have a mountain to climb. I think they do. Uh, we talked about it a little bit as well in our last series when we saw Daily Sports versus We Don't Bim Bam. We said Daily Sports probably the team that we saw that were strongest defensively in this tournament so far. Besides We Don't Bim Bam. They were, they were very good defensively in all their other series. And We Don't Bim Bam made them look like they couldn't rotate. Man, it was like a complete like, I've never seen anything like it in all my time. They scored one goal in the entire series. I talked to Adzer Ryan and Berth about it and they said that like the breadsticks, which was Sam, Jay and Tricks gave them way more trouble and they were only beating them by like a goal each game. And I'm, they said, okay, look, we were kind of cold, but like they were like a much tougher team than they felt in Daily Esports, which maybe the Group B bracket was just a really like not Top. great teams, yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. And maybe that's why Dale looked so good because NSG weren't playing well. Audacity were decent, but the other teams just weren't that good. Yeah. There's a whole host of different things, and every game is different, as we know. Of not course. just because, like, we, we saw We Vicious at the start of it, they didn't look particularly good in that game. They, yeah. they looked pretty poor, actually. Um, and then came when on we watched them there in that semi final game, they were absolutely world class. Like, it was, it was a great game of Rocket League. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So we'll have to see as well. We said I, I, I kind of alluded to it there that we don't bim bam. We're obviously looked absolutely flawless in their defensive rotations there. But if there is a team at this tournament that are probably strongest defensively, other than we don't bim bam again, I'm kind of rating them very highly. Probably Easy W, but I think Easy W's defense isn't actually that yeah. good. I think yeah. it's just because their midfield game and offensive pressure is really good. Yeah. I think this is going to be a high-scoring series yeah. in terms of. If you watch EZW, or e e EZW, my yep. apologies, versus um, We Vicious, it was a very defensive series. Mm. Not many risks taken. We don't bim bam. I think we'll try and feel EZW out originally or initially, but I think they'll step up a gear and they'll they'll do damage here. Yeah. So we will see how that ends up turning out. We're still waiting. I think a couple of the players were still logging in, and then we should get straight into it because obviously both teams fairly well warmed up after their respective semi-finals. Um, but 
as we get closer towards this, I want to talk a little bit more about Burst. As we know, he's that player. He's close to being an RL or S player. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, very, very good. And I don't think we saw even close to what his skill ceiling is in that semi-finals. I think you saw flashes of it because mm. his positioning is what sets him apart. Mm. He's always in the right place, almost always. And he's just very smart, very intelligent, but he's also got mechanics to back it up in bucket bullets. He's got the same similar level of future mechanics. Um, I think that's the PS4 or somewhere else in the Internet Gaming Cafe. But um, yeah, um, he's like future mechanics wise, but he's got much more intelligent positioning um, to back it up. Um, we'll see Vert was very relaxed when I talked to him, as we yeah. saw in the stream. Um, this isn't really a big land for him. He's, his other two lands were much bigger than this one. So this yeah. is quite a minor land for him, I would say. The Irish are, however, though, much more energetic and much more in... Uh, well, <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if, they get, if they come out with one or two bad performances, mm. the crowd are going to get behind EZW. E although EZW are the team that haven't... They that were have, the that, that have won the yeah, last four lands, this. essentially, yeah? Mm. They're one, people are going to get behind them because they technically are the underdog. Yeah. And people don't really know Ryan Burke and Adza that well, and they're seen as very cocky and arrogant. Mog Future are as well, but true, yeah, I, I get it, like, they're really good. Um, but I think that the crowd will get behind EZW if things start going well. Because you have to remember EZW, people in there are like members of the community for a lot longer, and that's going to like stand to them in the final. They, yep. they can do one or two good things right. Bla especially, Bla is very well liked by the community. And um, if he can pull off some really good plays, I think we've got a really good chance here. Yeah, absolutely. And so we talked a little bit as well. We, obviously, we think that Bert is that star player rotationally and not necessarily mechanically you know Azur and I are obviously very good mechanically as well but he's definitely a star player on the side of we don't fin ban mm -hmm. is there a star player that we're looking at on the side of uh, easy w easy w sorry momentary brain fart there is there a star player we're looking to step up or will it be a, Mug. a team performance Mug. Mug. Mug needs to step up Mug didn't play that well I don't think against we vicious I watched him he wasn't that great he had one or two unbelievable plays and that won him the game Yep. Um, when they played NSG Mug had an unbelievable game four I know Future stepped up as well but Future was kind of like drawing on Mug. Yeah. When Mog plays his best Rocket League, he, in my opinion, we haven't seen enough of Vert to say this, but I think Mog is better than Ryan and Adzer in threes. Okay. And I still think Mog, in my opinion, is probably the best player in Ireland at the moment. Now, Vert's probably going to take the title from today. Yeah. You don't know yet, but he probably will. And Vert is seen as a better player by anyone who knows anything, but we haven't seen Vert in the land. I haven't seen him. So, for now, Mog's the best player. Let's see what it's like. I have faith in him. So, yeah, so let's see if the stream is up yet. Yeah, more than just the tournament title on the line here today. Uh, Future and Mug obviously have won every land they entered. Four back to back lands, every land they've Four entered. Four back, la back to back lands here in Ireland. So, looking to defend that title today. Definitely going to be a very difficult one. Uh, Bert has been in two lands Sagetti 4K land and Insomnia 65. Um, finished second at Insomnia and first. He won the Sagetti 4K land. Yeah. So, so um, all the noises you're hearing there in the background are, of course, from the third place playoff. Daily Sports are playing Wee Vicious. Um, we don't know what the scoreline is. I'm going to just go check there. You can talk away. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll hope that all of our players haven't wandered off to just watch the third, fourth place game instead. Uh, we are just waiting. We've Rob getting a quick update from Mr. Forehead out there on what exactly is going on. Uh, hopefully we have a quick update here for you. Cool. Yeah, no, they're getting ready to go. Um, he should just had an issue with his uh, PC. All is good though, however, and hopefully he's playing on 60 hertz instead of 59 hertz, which is what he attributed his poor performance in the last game to. Um, <laughs> Always important to come ready with those excuses, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Guys, if you know anything, share the link to the Twitch everywhere you can, everywhere and anywhere. Get as many views on this channel as possible. We have some world-class Rocket League players playing here today, um, and the best in Ireland that we have to offer. Like, I think the only player that isn't here that's up there right now is probably his pure logic, but he's actually given up Rocket League entirely. Um, yep, he's, he's done with the game. He's focusing on college and stuff like that at the moment. So, um, don't share it in the chat, Spud Muncher. Uh, Spud Muncher, please don't share it in the chat. Just share it somewhere else. Like, tell your friends to like watch it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. This cool. is the big one, everyone. We are about ready to get into game here for the grand finals here between the side of EZW and We Don't Bim Bam. Both of these teams looking to take home not their first land. Uh, it will be the first land for Adzer and Ryan that they've managed to win, but Vert, not his first. But Mu Future and Mug, used to winning ways, looking to carry them on here. We're just waiting for the last couple of players to get into game and we will be ready to go. Perfect. We are just waiting on the guys to come in. But, some guy just said in the chat, easy W for We Don't Pin Them. Oof. 
That's like a bit of a <laughs> yikes. Oh, the, he's used their name against them. I see that. Yeah, that's that's that's, uh, that's pretty. It's pretty uh, spicy. Pretty spicy. Yeah. I've brought the energy levels too high. That's it, guys. Come on, back down. Everyone, until we're ready share to go. the Twitch on Twitter with friends on Facebook. Share it with everyone. Get this popping. Come on, let's get us over 50 views. Yep. Let's go. Perfect. Vert is the first one to join in. That's why he's eager, one. and we are ready. Players joining teams here. Everyone's ready to go. Get hyped for the finals of the Gigabyte Cafe LAN as the game has started and we'll see which team comes out on top. First ball is going forward. Adzer is carrying it forward. This could be an early goal. That's a nice save though. The pinch forward from Fusier and Bla. Moga is chasing it up now. He has no boost though, so it's going to be a tough follow. And now Virtuoso. We've seen what he can do before. Can he do it again? It's a great pass down to Adzer. Adzer beats one. Fusier on the wall. Now we'll look to carry this one out. Moog's up forward as well. That's a bit of a double commit, but they do manage to beat the player, so not the end of the world as Adzer now passes forward. Bird is going to carry this forward. Beats the player easily, but low on boost will make this really difficult for him. In the corner as Adzer's there to follow. Where is Ryan? He's going to move forward on us. That's a shot on target, but Moog will manage to cut that, cut that one out. Words <laughs> are failing me already. Not time as Moog now will clear this one of the pressure so far has been all we don't bim bam in this series. Yeah, they've already taken that. Oh, that's a so load close. of boost here. Uh, new alert, they've taken so much boost off of um, EZW and EZW are struggling already and this is what I'm talking about, this is what NSG did in the first game against them and then what we Vicious did a bit of, if you take the boost away from EZW they can't play it. Yeah, absolutely, I mean if you take the boost away from any Rocket League team it makes it a lot more difficult but that's very dangerous oh, as Fusher nearly gets the first goal of the series there. That would have been absolutely huge confidence booster for EZW but they don't quite manage it. Now Mug in the middle of the pitch will put it high for Fusher. Finding their way back into this game now are the side of EZW but as I say that it's we don't bim bam back on the attack. Blah. Will try to carry this one out. Can he find anyone in support? He can't. Mug will try and knock it forward, but that's not the best hit in the world. And Blast forced to just put it across the pitch. Ryan now will try and carry it into the enemy goal. He's up for it, but Fusher is there. A little bit slower in the pitch. Middle of the pitch now. Virtuoso out of boost. Will try and carry it into the corner. And now Mug is fighting Mug on the wall for this. Just slowing the ball down a little bit. Yeah, the game has been very slow paced so far in terms of certain things because. We don't bend I think, especially. Oh, they're that trying, was very They're close. trying to feel out um, EZW, I think, because they're not sure how they're playing. They're not sure if they're playing bad or good, but Future is, has a chance of a real highlight clip here. Yep. But Mug misses it. It's a critical miss. Blaz on his own defense. Blaz challenging. Really risky. This is a great chance. Oh, surely. Future's done it. Future has done, <laughs> He's it. done it. He's absolutely nailed it into the back of the net. Blaz challenge was super, super risky, but it was fantastic from Blaz. And all of a sudden, we're 1 0 up here. And uh, EZW, the defending champions, will they make it five times, just yep. like Dublin? Uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Blah, recognizing Adzer was kind of tracking ball upfield beside his teammate, and then the quick turn manages to cut that one out. So Blah, with a big play in the middle of the pitch there to put his team ahead. Virtuoso goes for the demo, and now Blah will be the one looking to get it for. But Adzer is there immediately, gets past the goal. There's no one in goal. That was a great demo coming through in the middle of the pitch to set up that goal. Yeah, it was a fantastic demo. Avert did one on the wall, mm -hmm. and then Blah obviously got someone else. I can't remember who got demoed where in the midfield, but I assume it was Vert. Yeah. And uh, it's just a simple finish for Ryan. But that's what you need to be aware of. These guys, they're called Weird Bim Bam for a reason. <laughs> they go around demoing people. And they go around, you know, just going around causing damage, basically. So you need to be careful against these guys. Yeah, and that is, I know, something we talked about earlier is just the, the tendency of very high-level players to just look for something they can be doing. Even when they don't have the ball, they'll be looking to kind of take people out off the ball. And now the ball is in a very dangerous spot for the side of EZW. They will need to Ryan. Clear. He's looking for it, but no, future off that back wall will get there in time. But there's a lot of people out of position for EZW right now, and they need to be careful. It's Richard Wilson's going to carry this one up 30 bits. What can he do with it? Ball in the middle of the pitch. Where's his team? Oh, Blah. Big error there from Blah. Yeah. I think communication maybe from Future. Probably could have helped him there. But um, Blah, I'm not sure if he had boost here or not. We'll never know. But um, yeah, yeah uh, Blah had boost. So he had a bit of it. And they, just a bit of communication there. But all of a sudden, we don't bim bam. Yeah, I think Adzer, you, you could see he actually went for it very late himself. I don't think really expected the ball to get that low before he could make a challenge. But good thing for him that he was still there. Was able to get that goal. So it's 2 0 up now for we don't bim bam taking the lead for the first time actually in this grand final. Will be the best of seven as we get further into this. So plenty of time to recover, you know, game one's not everything. is Bird has a chance, but doesn't quite capitalize. Ball will be there though. Ryan and Blar both up for it. And that was a little bit awkward in the middle of the pitch. And again, a couple of double commits coming through for the side of EZW as we progress in this game. Yeah, you can tell Blar and uh, Future aren't really confident in each other. I think those two in particular. This is dangerous. Yeah making a lot of errors and um, you can see like EZW are like always on almost zero boost and it's just a boost serving game. Good pass down though from Blan. Yeah, that was a very nice pass down from Blan in the middle of the pitch. Managed to hang on to a bit of boost for himself in case that play developed. <laughs> oh, oh that Bert, has he done it? What a oh, save what a by Mog! 
He's there. Oh, Adzer tried for the fake out, couldn't quite get it, but Jesus Christ, that. <laughs> that was a great save. <laughs> that touch was amazing. The save was even better. Bert kind of starting to step up now, wake up a little bit in this game. I said he wasn't really challenged in that semi finals, but maybe starting to put on a clinic in this grand finals. He's kind of got no business in the corner, so we're going to make it a little bit difficult. And then Mug is putting it forward. Future could go for this, but chooses to leave it. Adzer without a fantastic touch will just put it to the side. And now it's easy to leave. Ryan has full boost hook for it, but that's awkward off the wall, so Bert will come and rescue him. We saw it again in the semi-finals that if Bert feels your dribbling is not to scratch, he will just take the ball yeah, off. Yeah, he will. You know, that's just and that's on target. Does. Who's there? Adzer is there. That's fine. Easy I save at this that. level. Easy save at this level. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't see a player there. Blah's I don't shot though. Bla with the dipper. Almost got a future mode. Not communicating. to get him. Bla comes off the ceiling just to keep the pressure on. And that's actually a good challenge by Bla because he actually keeps the pressure on really well there. Mm. Future now. Where is he going to go? He's going to go for a double, but he can't do that against these guys. It's not easy. You know, like this isn't... Um, you know, some low-level, mid-level champ team, yeah. or grand champ team, rather. You need this to is, actually... This is the highest of yeah, the high. This is the highest of the high in Rocket League Ireland. Well, without boost, he's going to struggle to get this one forward. So it's a good clear by Azure. There was a little bit of a double print in the air, so the follow-up isn't going to quite be there for the side of Weed on Flame Band. They do have the one-goal lead in the last 30 seconds of this game, but the ball is in their half. Black, can he get up for this in time? Beaten kind of by Azure. The 50 is kind of very neutral there. And now Bird is up for it. Just killing time in the air. Taking this nice and slow. 50's the ball with Mug, and it's there for Ryan. See what he can do with this. Not that's it. That's going to go on target. Can Mug get up? Mug! Oh, oh, oh my god, what a goal by Mug. That is absolutely phenomenal. But the challenge from Bla is unbelievable. Yeah. Like, this is a brilliant <laughs> challenge. But Mug's positioning, look, he recognizes it. And the mechanics to do that. Like, you know, yeah. the bravery to take that shot. Absolutely. This There's is so like... many ways that that can go wrong. Bla's out of the play on the wall. If Mug gets 50 badly there, that's an open goal, and you're absolutely never winning this game. But Mug had to take the chance and did, but now. Score tied up. Blah! Seconds left. That's going to be on target. Bert, can he get there? Bert, can it sit off the bar? I think Mog should have left that. Can I think they get that? Mog should have left that for Blah. Blah would have scored, I think. Yeah, and we'll that's, a, that's an error. It's can Ryan do it? Ryan! He's done Ryan! Oh my god, what a goal by Ryan. I don't know how that ball stayed up, but they you just should. about managed to get up. Adds with a great touch for it. He got so much power on that ball with very little boost. And Ryan just getting up under a future, just not quite there. <laughs> Despite a bit of tension, it will be We Don't Bim Bam. And Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have a series on our hands. Future shouldn't have challenged that. That's all I'm going to say about that one. It's a great series, but he should have shown more respect to the shot. Yeah. You know, in my opinion, that's yeah. what he should have done there. I'm the critical guy, as we know, guys. Hi. And um, I think Mug should have left it for Blah. Blah would have scored 100%. And mm -hmm. then they ended up getting game management. You know, we talk. Mm -hmm. I've been talking about it a bit in this tournament so far. They need to work on it. But they're giving them a game at least. Yeah, uh, we'll go into game two here. Uh, one game up, we don't bim bam. I mean, how do you follow that up? What a performance. Not a good touch. Not a very good touch by Vert, yeah. He will nearly recover in time to get it on the ground, but he won't quite. But Adzer will be there. Manages to win the 50 and to land. So the ball is forward now, but we don't bim bam. Future, though, gonna push it back up the pitch. And Vert has it on the wall. Not a great touch, bringing it across the place to go. A little bit risky. Uh, and a nice demo by Future means that's an Mug. open goal. And Mug will finish. It's a great demo by Future, though. Future wins this play. Now, Blah, another great pass by Blah. Mm. He's playing really, really well at the moment, but it's the demo from Future, the confidence to go for yeah. that. Mug is playing really well in this third man position. They yeah. need to keep Future out of the third man position because and he's I, a bit I really, dodgy. I really like the decision by Blah there. Kind of a slow pass. He didn't bang it off the wall. He didn't. He gave Future time to get into position and get that demo. So really well played by Blah on the pass. Really well played by Future and a great finish by Mug. Uh, so once again, we have EZW taking the lead in this game. And it's not been, you know, all, all we don't bim bam all the time. We saw in the semis. But as I say that, that's down off the crossbar. We won't quite go in. Ryan, not able to get the He's got a reset, though. Reset, though. Oh, he did. I think he did. He tried for it and nearly got there, but well read by EZW. What a that's play by Mog. Dangerous. Mold. Future, can Mold he get up Future, with this? Future. Oh, he's landing on it. Oh, Blah's Can't got quite. a shot, though. Will Blah do it? No, oh, he doesn't. Oh, Blah, you need to get those ones on target in these grand finals, but not quite. And Bert doesn't have any boost to really carry this one forward, but takes it slow. Beats one player, and now Mug puts it back forward. There's not really boost on the defense here, so they need to play it very carefully. Ryan on the back wall will try and take it away. There was a boost deal there for the side of EZW, and that ball's very dangerous. Yes, that's, that's a brilliant away. play, and I think Mug got a piece of Vert there on the defense again. It's the demos it's and the these demos. bumps that are making the And it's the, the boost deal. It was the boost deal into the bump, and I mean, that's it. That's what you want to see out of EZW here. And defending champions for a reason, and Blah's coming in. And he's having an absolute field day at the moment. He's playing really, really well. He's fitting into this rotation. And you're like, I have to say that there's a little bit of confusion starting to come out now on this We Don't Bim Bam squad. They don't play that much together. Yeah, no, they absolutely don't. And as you say, Mogan Future so used to his grand final setting. That's a double, double commit from Adzer and Ryder on defense. And that's dangerous. But now Ryan recovers in time. We'll get that ball clear. 
Moog. Oh, oh, takes it off. So beautiful. And takes we'll the boost. Yeah, absolutely beautiful by Moog. That's what you want to do. Sets it up in the middle of the pitch for Fusion, but Fusion just hits it high and Virtuoso on the back wall. That's a little bit dodgy. Virtuoso has the pitch. And again, just confusion in the middle of the field for We Don't Bim Bam. Not quite able to get the ball forward on the attack. And now, Hadzer, can he get to this and stop it? Not a good touch. Time. Not a great touch. Very good find it there. Moog will leave it for Blast. 50 is good from the side of We Don't Bim Bam until the ball is in a dangerous spot. Ryan manages to hit it again. The ball bouncing dangerously. Can Hadzer get up? He doesn't even Future, try Future, really bad touch again. Birch. Oh, Ryan Ooh. tried for the bump. Couldn't quite get Moog out of the way. Now this is dangerous. There's not anyone back. Where is the attack? Bla! Oh, <laughs> oh tries for it. You can tell they're all so low on boost. Except yeah. for Ryan here because he's scared of Moog. It's almost like they disregard what I'm trying to say. You know? Well, they do, yeah. But, you know, that's what we expect from these players. They just don't respect you, Rob, uh, unfortunately. And Bert will get absolutely blasted on the ceiling. And now the attack is back on for the side of EZW. Adzer will get a good clear onto that ball, though. And now the attack is coming back the other way. We'll see. We don't pin bam. Haven't looked very dangerous on the attack at all this game. Which, not what we expected to say about them going no, into the series. But the demos that, yeah, that, that you know, EZW are getting on them are really affecting them now. Vert's come on out with a demo there. But yeah. that's not... Mug does get tilted by demos, to be fair to him. But, like... They're getting a little bit caught off guard. That is an unbelievable mechanical play, really, to be honest with you. Yeah, good play by Future. Good 50. Can he recover on the wall? Of course he can. He's down in the middle, but Future, that was a really nice recovery as well. He manages to get that ball clear out from under Vert. And a good bump means this ball is still moving forward. Ryan will manage to get another 100 boost there. And now he's back on the attack with Blah again with a great 50 on the wall. We'll leave that one for Future to put that towards the goal. And Vert, of course, to clear it from the back wall. Now it's there. Slowing down in the middle of the pitch, but Vert is there once again. Is there any follow up? Blah, that's Blah's dangerous. Missing. He's missed it. Oh, dodgy. Great. It's not what you want to see out of your teammate. Oh. Play by Fuchsia, though. For this I'm time. getting my hands are shaking here, and I'm not even playing. I think that's just the air conditioning. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. a bit cold. <laughs> Could well be as well, but we'll see. Now this great ball challenge by whoever it. that was. I think that was Fuchsia. Like the speed to beat Bert there is phenomenal. But that's Fuchsia for you. Get yeah. him, get him in, a, in an offense over challenge game, and he's almost impossible to beat. You know. Yeah. And we said the rotations have been good for Eden Bimba in this game, but not flawless. And they've been taken advantage of a couple of times by just this constant offensive pressure. <laughs> that's a huge miss. Fuchsia will be there to go over there. It's when you're in a position where your opponents don't expect you Pass to it miss, in field. That's, that's a brilliant play. That's a oh, oh should have scored. Post. I think maybe should have probably but. probably scored there. But anyway, I was literally thinking the exact same thing as Blas. Yeah. Yeah, that I was like, can <laughs> get it in field? That's oh, that's such leverage. a good touch by Mog. Mog is having an absolute unbelievable grand final at the moment. He's playing so well. Yeah. I still think they're unlucky to lose the last game. They just made an error, you know, yeah, with Fuchsia. Sure. Um, so, yeah. And Vlad just getting in the way of Ryan here. Forces him out, but Ryan oh. eventually managed to get the boost. Ryan's making a there. few errors. You know, it's his first land. The pressure's going to get to him. Yeah, as this ball is a little bit dangerous, but Vlad will get up in time. Can Ryan do anything with this? Vlad, what are you doing off that season? It's amazing. As Adzer is still going for the reset. Though, oh, no. Couldn't quite get it. Now, first back is completely alone in the middle of the pitch. Can he get this shot? Off, doesn't even try, tried for the fake, but doesn't quite go. According They're just plan. demoing in the corner now. If you watch it, they're actually just going for the corners and demoing whoever is respawning. So yeah. they, they need to watch out here now. They've got a little boost. It's oh, cool. that's a nice little touch over the top, but in future is there one more time. Ryan back into the middle. 30 seconds left, two goals down. We don't bim bam, need to find something very soon. Well, that ball is a great clear. Can Black get up to no, it? Not quite. Save your Smart. Yeah. That's um, what he needs to do there in that situation. That's dangerous in the middle. A little bit, but it's going to be clear. It's. Just killing time now for EZW, looking like they're going to be able to take down this game too. Future's there once again to just slow this ball down and prevent the counter attack one more time. It's not looking like they're even going to be able to get the ball out of their half in these last 10 seconds. Are we on Bim Bam? And they may, may get their consolation goal here as Blau will just push it back, slow it down, and the ball is going to bounce. And we don't Bim Bam for the first time we've seen them all day held to a game where they didn't score. And not only that, but they lost. More well, importantly, that well, you know. that, 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 that's the big thing here. But <laughs> um, wow, that's, that's, uh, that's something special. I'm just going to open the door here to get the crowd in. Yeah, absolutely. That was absolutely huge. And I hope the crowd are enjoying this. And I hope you at home are enjoying this as much as we are on the desk. Absolutely huge performance from our final veterans. Our finals veterans in Morgan Future, you know, they're used to this position we said and they're sure showing it right now. Yeah, and um, I just went out there to open the door to say to the guys, come on, a bit of hype. No one oh, was yeah. like hype as hell there when it happened. But I guess it's early enough in the series, no one scored a hype goal yet. Mm. I'm going to put on my hoodie now because it's really, really cold here. I'm tempted to put on a jacket. Yeah, man, honestly, it's, <laughs> man, like this side, they're trying to freeze us in here, honestly. But anyway, look, let's yeah. ready up, let's go for the next game. You put on your jacket. And uh, I'm going to take a sip of Monster here as we get into it. Any guys in the chat know uh, any brackets? All you need to know is that EZW are playing We Don't Bim Bam in the final. Uh, I will not join into the wrong team. Yeah, and the score is currently 1-1 in this grand finals best of seven, obviously, as we get back into this game three. That was dangerous in the middle field. If Muggen made contact with that, it would have been a little bit dodgy for the side of We Don't Bim Bam, but they managed to avoid that danger. And now Vert will just put it sideways. So if there's anyone here, flies up for it, but gets beaten by Adzer. That's going to go on target, but... 
two defenders there means that's never going in. Double commit, and that's going to go into a goal. Yeah, because Fuchsia double commit with Mog. They're not communicating correctly there. And straight away, they've done, undone all their good effort in the last game, just like that. You see, Fuchsia yeah. just died in this. Yep. And you know, these guys have been playing together for so long, and I think they've been getting away with it because their mechanics. Maybe the comms aren't that good. They yeah. should have combat. that. Yep, absolutely. And so despite being held to a scoreless game to We Don't Bimbap, Wills, We Don't Bimbap. Bim <laughs> I'm telling you, I just keep thinking of Bimbap. Uh, as Bla is up for that immediately, but won't quite get there. And Fuchsia is up as well. We'll just sky that off the ceiling and give his time, his team time to what reset. Bump. Yeah, great bump as Great will now try and carry this forward. Great a little bit quiet, I would say, so far. Yeah, he hasn't been that impressive, to be honest. Uh, but he's, he's been okay. He's been there, thereabouts. Yeah. I don't think any of these guys in EZW are standing out so far. Um, however, saying yeah. that, you know, Adder, Adder tries, on the oh, nearly wins it. Great is there to try for it, but shot's not even on target. You will never score if shot's not on target. Uh, as Ryan now gets kind of turned around in the middle of the pitch, and that may actually help him out as he turns for this ball, but Laz there to get a good demo, not demo, challenge. Clear that ball, and that ball is moving forward, but Vert is there to cut that out. Fuchsia is in an awkward spot, nearly got bumped out of the way, as Adzer does get demoed at the same time. So they've a bit of time here, but that's a good challenge. Oh, what a nearly goal. They're just panicking goal. for no reason. Vert was nowhere there, and they, ne they nearly scored no goal. Like, yeah. They need to just slow it down a little bit in terms of the challenge game. They need to be more aware of what they're doing. Fuchsia now with a good touch into the corner. But um, yeah, very impressed so far. We don't pin bam in this game, and, and that is a shot. big error from Moak. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah. It's a good shot, of course, by Ryan. Let's take nothing away. But what yeah. happened here? I'd like to know. Uh, it's, it's, those are the ones. It's a good shot, but a good shot doesn't me necessarily mean you'd be scoring at this level. Yeah, and positioning just leaving Moak with absolutely nothing to do as Ryan takes his second goal of this game, two 0 up. This is the score that uh, the side of EZW won by in game two. So we'll see now. Can they score two goals again to bring themselves back into this game? It's great now. Watching this ball towards his own end. As Ryan gets demo, that's a little bit dangerous. Fuchsia tries to bring that up. There's nobody there, though, for the awkward bounce off the ceiling for EZW. So there's a chance now for Ryan to bring this one forward into the enemy half. And we'll go clear it off backward. As Ryan is kind of swinging around on the wall a little bit wild at the moment. Now Ads are watching it. Ooh, that's a dangerous touch. But it is. He went for the pinch, though. And Fuchsia had to make that touch because I think otherwise they would have been in trouble there. But um, I've been impressed so far by um, Ryan in this game in particular. He's managing yeah. the midfield really well. Vert, if you've noticed, is sitting back a lot more and letting Ryan and Adzer kind of duel up front and I think that's giving them a big bonus. Yeah. Um, Vert's a oh, lot that's more, a great shot. But he's no, playing a lot more defensive. That's definitely helping. Yeah, uh, there was more than one defender on that line there so I got overexcited for nothing. As Vert now gets beaten in the midfield by Blowers to follow up. Ryan kind of takes his time on and realises there's no one there. And so we'll now get a great flick off and a great bump will give that goal. Ryan gets Patrick. Ryan is playing phenomenal at the moment and then he's standing, so I think standing out. Bert got the Bert. Absolutely great bump here. He did. No, well, we well, no, he didn't. He, he, didn't, he missed he didn't, it. But he didn't, I don't yeah. know if Fuchsia got put off by that or not, yeah. but at the end of the day, Ryan put it way beyond his reach. Yeah. Mechanically, yeah. you're never going to get to that anyway. So yeah. um, we have three goals now and it's kind of looking like game three is done. It is a best of seven, guys, don't forget. So there's a long way to go yet in this series. Yep. Um, best of seven, we're only 1-1 one, one still. So this is only game three. But as you say, we don't bim bam. Looking like they're kind of really starting to step up. Find that find that extra gear. As Monk now will backflip in the middle of the pitch. Set it up a little bit. But there's so many players oh, there. And that's just going on. traffic in the middle of pitch. Means that there are no defenders there. And the goal goes in for Bert. I'm not sure what happened here. So Future goes up, peels off to the side. I think no one in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think he may be expecting Monk to maybe flip into that or something. Yeah. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, 4-0 and this game is kind of done now. You're not going to see four goals scored against uh, these three. Uh, not at this level, Rocky, it's just so hard to score four goals. Uh, Blah, what a save. That's, oh, uh, that's a kick -off, he yeah. almost got the pre-flip though. Nearly. Oh, that would have been an announce save if he got that. Yeah. So. Would have been very nice, but... Uh, They're I mean, reading their kickoffs. look. He's reading the kickoffs. off, so um, Fusion needs to be careful now. Do, do we think that this was a case of we don't bim bam really stepping up in this game three, or is it EZW kind of taking their foot off the gas? I think it's bit? more of um, we don't bim bam stepping up a little bit. Okay. I think Ryan, I think whatever they've done, they've noticed something, and Ryan has been on the offense way more, and he's causing a lot of trouble. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I think there's been one or two errors by um, Mlog and Future in particular. Yeah. I have to say the standout player in that team actually has been Blah, he's been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And this isn't because I rate Blah a little less, yeah. I think Blah has been their best player. Yeah, anyway, then. absolutely. Um, he's been really, really good. His challenge game has been flawless. And um, yeah, he's been, he's been very good on those 50s on the wall this whole it's series. It's kind of up to Mug and Future now. The comms maybe, and also just the little plays. Now, this game is all about getting a consolation goal of some sort. Yeah. Just, just to like let them know that we're here to play next game and you're not going to get a shutout on us because a yeah. shutout is like the worst thing possible. Uh, absolutely, and I don't know if you were listening to the comms between the side of EZW and the semi-finals, but once they were kind of starting to lose those games, and that's going to be another no, bird, I thought you had that, uh, as they kind of get followed, but the comms for the side of EZW in the semi-finals, once they started kind of dropping games to Wee Vicious, 
got a little bit quiet. Yeah, I did. The heads that. went down. Sure, didn't bit. say anything. Mog was saying nothing. Yeah, Blau was the only one coming. Maybe that's why he's done so well. Yeah, so maybe that's that's something we could start to see here, especially a five five goal game is not something that it's easy to keep your head up no matter what. Hey, we don't we don't say calm everything, but calm something. Um, yeah. And I, I think a lot of these plays that they're making there's not a lot of comms coming out. From them. Yeah. But um, yeah, Vert's kind of put the team in his back now in the latter half of this game after Ryan kind of stepped up and made it big. Yeah. Azure's been very quiet um, so far in this series, but I think he's happy enough with that, to be honest with you. So yeah, and with that said, I think both of these teams, that's a nice that shot. That should be a goal. Like, Vlad just passed the ball to him. That was like Vlad's first critical error, and he didn't even get punished for it. So yeah. Maybe yeah. Lady looks on his side as well. We've seen a couple of these shots come off the crossbar from the last couple of minutes from We Don't Bin Bam, but you know, I think one thing it's important to note about both these teams is they kind of. Almost all three players on both teams can step up and score the big play, make the big plays, score the big goals, make the big saves when you need them to. So you have to be aware. It's not like you can just be like, ah, it's only it's only Ryan back, it's only Vert back, it's only anyone back. There's always the chance. And so we will see now. Going into game four, this will be almost definitely game three on the books. I've never seen twenty five goals scored in twenty seconds. I don't think I've ever seen five ball come back ever. Probably. Yeah, unless it was like flip side tactics back in season two of RLCS yes, when they were playing some absolute meddling with the team. Or yeah. if you're talking one or something, but you know, we're not. Oh, so, uh, that would have been important. You know what? That would have been a confidence booster. That, yeah. that probably would have helped. That probably dropped Future's head there a little bit now with that play. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see. They have another, probably one more chance we to get here. We can hear a scream, so someone's after doing well outside. I think, I think that was a sneeze, to be honest with you. Oh, was that so? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hard to tell. We're kind of isolated from everyone in here, but that will be game three going over towards the side of We Don't Bim Bam as they open their lead up to 2-1 in this series uh, and put themselves two games away from taking home the Gigabyte Cup. Land Cafe, the Gigabyte Cup, whatever you Gigabyte want to call Cup. it, the next land. Yeah. But the scoreboard doesn't lie there. Blast top leaderboard for his team, Ryan yeah. top leaderboard for his team. I thought they were the two best players. And I think they've been the two best players in this series so far for both teams. Yeah. Uh, Future has been very quiet and Adzer has been quiet, but he's been calculated, I would have said. But anyway, yeah. game four, take us away. Absolutely. We will see who steps up for their teams in this game four. Uh, if the team of EZW get knocked down in this game, they will be one game away from just being completely losing this grand finals. Uh, and so we don't we don't bim bam. If they can win this, they'll put themselves one game away from winning. If Bla on that back wall will try and take that one out. A little bit of awkward misses that last touch, but Mogi is there to cover for him. Now Ryan will take this up the wall, see what he does with this. Is he gonna go for the ceiling shot? Of course he is, but watched all the way by future and cut out. And now Bert keeping that pressure on instead of boosting, kind of just back flipping off the wall. And now Bla. Carrying it for his teammates are in support. That's a great flick. Is there anyone Bla! back? There isn't. Bla is unreal. That is an absolute world class play by Bla. He took out the whole team here. Like one, That's two, <laughs> bang. See you later, Ryan. Good luck. Yeah. Bla is playing absolutely phenomenal. And to be fair to him, I think he's been the best player in this team all tournament long now. He's been so good. Yeah. And he's grown into this tournament. He's finally coming into it. Absolutely. We saw in the first couple of series of the day, he wasn't really given the, spe given the space to shine. As this is a little bit awkward now, but Ryan not able to follow that one up perfectly. And for it, does he have to lose to carry this one in? Great little flick. Will Mug Mug, get what a save! He was inside the net for that. <laughs> Mug. Those are the big saves you have to make if you want to win grand finals. There's Mug for it, but that's no, a great read. No, there's no one back. Room. It's all about the bounce. Flat. Yeah, oh. that's, all, that's the worst bounce he could have gotten. If that had gone yeah. up the wall, we were good there, but that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, the future did his best there, but Ryan did manage to put that over in the corner. Adds are helped a little bit out there by Blah, you have to say, in getting that one into the net. Yeah, probably, but, but if he just read. left it flat, Adzer yeah. probably would have just scored it, you know? So that's it's kind really. of six and one half a dozen of the other. Yeah, so one one tying us up here in game four. As now Future gets wins the 50 but gets taken out for his troubles and now it is Mog watching this. Does manage to steal away the boost and that's something you know we want to see. Steal the boosts, get the demos. Just really try and stop We Don't Bim Bam from getting into their rhythm. Future! Future's going Future. through the double touch. Oh. Not given the chance by Ryan. Is that still in the middle of the That's pitch? not Blah. a good touch by yeah. Mog. He's given away possession and Blas last man back. I'm pretty Virtuoso sure. Virtuoso tracking him all the way but Future manages to get there and now Adzer will be forced to take this one forward again. Future just demoing everyone taking the touches. Mog, Mog does just... save from that man. That was the same. <laughs> Say, all right, and that's a really nice touch, but Future is still there as my voice is starting to go, and we're only in game four. That's very worrying. Bert is up, trying to bump people on the backboard now. Black, can he get that touch? Nearly gets he that touch. Free flip, bro. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> as Ryan now passes up to Bert. Bert, that's a great read on the pass, but Future is there. Future just happened to respawn in the corner there, do they? <laughs> like, that just happened to be the most calculated respawn I've ever seen. Yep. Absolutely beautiful there. I don't know if you ever saw that thing where someone thought you could choose which side you respawn on a while ago. Yeah, but that wasn't true. Yeah, though, unfortunately not true. No, I, I thought it was. I tried it one time and it worked, and I was like, wait, what? And yeah, I tried it again, it didn't work. So. Well, it's funny. It was a very strange piece of statistics where they just happened to get it like 20 times. That's a really bad 50 by Mog. Oh, future. future has made a huge error. 
Mug is trolling, you should show him. No, money joke. But look, here, seriously, yeah. like, why does he 50 this like that? Maybe he's looking to pinch an Instagram, just misread yeah. it, but Future. Just Future needs to hit those anyway. Even if you're not expecting the 50 to commit that badly, I mean, that's... To be fair to him, when, you ro when I watch it back there, Future isn't really at fault. Mug's 50 is, like, not very good. Yeah, way. absolutely. But either way, whoever's at fault, it will be the one goal lead going over to Slider. We don't pin bam. If they win this game, they put themselves one goal away from winning this. Because Future will bang that one over the corner. Bla has the chance to take it forward. Uh, who's watching it? It's Adzer now. And then back the other direction. Man, just pick up the boost, it spawns under him. So, full boost on this attack. Tried to kind of maybe fake out Future, but Future doesn't flinch. This is dangerous, but Mog is there to take it off the back. Double commit from the boys. There's a great chance of a counter here. Oh, oh they, they double, double committed commit. themselves. So I'm glad I didn't try to pre flip it. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little bit of a comedy of errors there for a second, as now Vert will get 50 by Mug. Just takes it away from the ball. Ryan misses. Ryan misses off the wall. This Where's is a great chance for Blah. Blah's done Ooh. it again. And I'm telling you what, man. This guy is playing out of his mind, man. Yeah, like, well keeps, played shot. It's a good pass by Mug. And Ryan misses it. Where Ryan, I uh, uh, Yeah. But he, he had to avoid the he demo. He did, he did, yeah. From whoever that was, I assume. Uh, it was Mug, Mug, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. So Mug, really good play there. Makes up for his yeah. error. And we're back to a 2-2 game and game four. Yeah, jeez. This has been a much closer series than I think anyone was expecting coming into it. It's been... Back and forth the whole way through, you know, these games have been very close. Azure with a shot on goal. First! Oh, that's a big error, but, but Ryan, Ryan finishes this. That's it. Woo. Very, very nearly very put that one in. He's been, he's kind of inventing these off the posts a lot when he's looking to just get them in, uh, sneak them in on that post. He actually had a lot more space than I think he thought he had there, so maybe a little bit jittery, a little bit kind of just, just playing his angles a little too much. Maybe. But it went in anyway. And so, you know, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Now, Adzer. Just kind of slow, slow playing at the back here. And Future will manage to take though. Now Ryan. Very calculated play by Future. What he did was he wanted to hit the ball that way, the way he did, because he wanted to land and take the boost. That's all he yeah. wants. Because at this level, it's, it's almost like hitting the ball is like as, as, as important as getting boost, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it's, it's like silver. Come on, boom. Oh, nice. You know, it's, that's silver boost is important as well. And then it kind of changes up the sure? diamond. And then you get back to grand champ and the boost is important as well again. Uh, as you know, close there for a few seconds, and Mug now is up. Oh, they need to find this goal to well, get back into this luckily game. Luckily, Future there, he bumped yeah. um, Ryan Alex, so like it was a good bump. So that bought him yeah. a lot of time. So, yeah, thankfully, he's going to be uh, Captain's Blessings because otherwise they could have conceded another one, then they're definitely gone. Blan out with a shot. No, can't get it. Ryan's going to go for that boost in the corner. It's yeah, not even there. It's not even there. It, was, yeah. it wasn't there at the time. This is a great chance now. Ryan, it's going to be about what boost. Mug can do. Oh, Mug, Mug, Mug. Mug. Oh. Almost, but there's a rule two in the net. Oh, oh the mug backflips. Yeah, well, look, it's the grand final, to be fair. You yeah. know, I let him off that one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you'd have to. In Would it be karma, though? <laughs> it's almost a double commit there from Mug and Blah. They land on opposite sides, so we're okay, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now that's a little bit dangerous in the front. Where's the follow up? Blah, man. Future, again, I'm not sure what his comms are like. He's not calling by the looks of it. It's always Future who's left in these like dodgy situations. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see if he can fix that as this series goes on. As that's a nice demo, demo. coming through from Adzer. Is there anyone in the middle though? No, Blah managed to get a good clear and that's kind of slow. That's not Bert. a good touch by yeah, though. He's he should not have taken that away. That's in, top ins. Oh, what a save, man. Holy cow. Yeah, so miscommunications maybe from both sides there a little bit there. Um, and now this is Blah turning forward. Can he beat first? Does get a very good 50 off as now Adzer's on the back wall though. And there's a few people up on this wall. As nearly Ryan got taken out as he was rotating towards that one, and that would be very dangerous. Yeah, Future not showing enough respect there, I think, for the certain touches that um, these boys are going for. Mog misses the touch though, which puts Vert off. And now there's been a demo in the middle, but unfortunately it's on Future, and that could be it in this game. So we're yeah. gonna see now what's gonna happen here. Adzer rolls a speed roller to Very, the very slow. They need to keep this one alive. Mog, can you get this one forward? It's very high. Can Blah get this touch? He will, but that looks like it's just gonna hit the ground. Yeah, gonna gonna drop it down. And there you go. And um, we got match point. 3 1 now to We Don't Bim Bam. And Ryan, again, for me, has been the standout player. Yeah. I think Ryan and Blah are head and shoulders, I think, above Absolutely. the others. Like, Ad's had a good series here. He scored the goals, but he's kind of been quiet in his touches. Like, look at the shot differential. Cool. Okay. A lot more shots for We Don't Bim Bam. But I think Ryan and Blair are the ones making the difference at this moment in time. Not to say that the other guys are playing bad. I don't think yeah. anyone is really playing that bad here. I think comms maybe for future yeah. are hurting him. And that's why his team are losing these games. Yeah. And obviously Mug with that weird... Yeah, a little bit yeah. strange. Yeah. And to be fair, on the other side, I think Vert has been a little bit more out of sync. You know, we were praising him for the rotations earlier. And they've kind of, kind of disappeared a little bit in that game. He was kind of going for some weird double commits. So we'll see if he can clean that up as we head into this. No matter what double commits he's making, he's still brought his team to this match point. It could be Mug and Fuser losing their first ever LAN finals. As Ryan gets a good shot on. Early great save by Fuser though. 
and Fla gets demoed in the middle of the pitch. You can't be the best player on your team if you're currently demoed. Good. Okay, he got lucky there because he, he almost made a mistake. Ooh, Fla blah. tried to pre flip it, made a mistake there. And now Ezra's going to put that in. Good save. I'm tough for this, but oh. Burton loses to out on the, on the touch, and Adzer will have a chance. He puts this over, but Flaz up and reads it. He kind of puts it down low. Moog is backing off, though, so Fusion will be the one to take it forward, and then Bert. See if he can do this with this. He puts it too far in front of himself, and it's talking about Blah! Blah! Oh, that's so close. He came so close. Blah oh. is playing really well. The Moog's pass there was absolutely phenomenal. Fusion needs to hold on to the ball a little bit better in these situations. I feel like he just gives the ball away. He got double demo, though. I don't know yeah. how. He took, up the, he took up the duo. And he's just sitting a little bit too close together there, and so. Double demo for the future, and so future now. Following this one forward, Azir will try and take that one away. And a little bit scrappy now in this game so far. No goals as we hit the four minute mark, and we'll just take one that mug. one high. Oh, not a great second touch means it won't be able to be followed. And this, this is trouble. Flaz on zero. Flaz well, pinched it across. Why would you do that? Oh. Just a little bit of panic coming out of Flaz. waiting there as well, but like he's not looking. I, I, I get it, but like yeah. just roll it up the wall. It's just too risky. Yeah. Like if he got under it, fine, but he pinched the center of the ball. I think, like... I think he just saw the player coming up behind him and got a little bit panicky and just wants to do something. And so we'll roll across base and go. And in this, their match point game, we don't think Bam will go one goal up. We're looking for easy W. It's been a while since they scored now. Last! Ooh, no, Blah. he's missed it. These are the kind of chances he's got to score. Future! Oh, man, you have to score Mug. those Future. Mug, oh no. It's it's falling apart here for yeah. a weak easy W, man. And the challenge game, okay, not too bad there. But like, oh, they should have scored that. No mind Blas one, fine, fair enough. But what about Future? So Future had an easy shot to score there. Yeah, absolutely. And we're seeing that. That is the real heads down moment now. If you are ZW, it feels like for it. That's not a great touch over into the corner, but Mug can't get the ball past Ryan. It is Blas on the wall. See what he can do. He's been great all series. And now that is a good touch. Takes out two. There's a lot of members of EZW up here. They're going to need to back off and go and find boost now. Like Future is sitting in front here and he will manage to turn just in time to get that. But Vert, without it, Ryan's in the back forward. Forward. Vert, what can you do with this? He's on full boost. He's going to try it. No, but that's he messed up. Yeah, 34 second touch out of him, so he won't be able to follow that. But no quick counter tackle. As I say, that's a very good pinch out of Blah getting that one away. Yeah, adds there. Knocks it high. Kind of both teams just slowing it down now here for a second and seeing what they can do. That Vert tries to knock it down, but his team isn't there, and so it'll be Mug who knocks back forward. And then Ryan over to the side. Where's the follow? It's not there, and a few demos coming out. That demo might be. Ooh. Let's see what Mug can do here. If he can get an absolute cling clang on this, there might be a chance. Mm, but not no. quite, unfortunately for them. So it's future here. The entire team of EZW over on this side of the pitch. And now Ryan will just put it over to the side. Vert with the follow. Does manage to be flat. Flat out of this play for a little while. Mug and Future both here. They need to be careful. Vert got that again, man. Calms, calms. Yeah, and this is Adzer's chance. He tries to knock it down, but can't quite. Ryan! Run, but going for the double. Can he Ryan? get the angle? Oh! oh and they follow And Adzer just P rolls it into the net. Yeah. You know, just, you know, no. You know, we tried to get them hyped, and then they just. Nearly. Nearly. It was a really good effort by Ryan, and he did get it off that post, and then Future just a little bit unlucky with the ball landing on top of him. Shock it. So 2 0 will be the score here. It's match match point, it's it's tournament point for the side of We Don't Bim Bam. As they get ready for this kickoff, with Blau will take that. There's a nice demo from both Double sides. Demo. And Adzer, though, will go for that. And now Vert taking it in the corner, taking the drop. See what we can do. Still 40 boost, so can retake this. That's nice. Nearly oh, got a pass. Oh, almost got Blau, but Blau's been kind of rock solid mostly on the yeah, defense. Absolutely right. Big miss by Future. He's making a lot of errors. Yeah. Fla again rock solid on the defense in his team. This time is there to cover for him as Mo nearly had the open net but a little bit slow in trying to take the shot. Didn't expect Ryan to be up so fast and Ryan is still up. As now Bert has been demoed so there's a bit of a chance oh, here. Oh, Future hadn't got that second touch. There was a chance. There was a chance but that's nearly on target. Is there any follow up there? Mug will be able to rotate around behind it in time though. There was no quick follow up for the side of oh, We Don't Bim Bam as Ryan now takes the sovereign block, picks up the boost. Goes for the ceiling. Can he get down in time? No, it's very hard off the ceiling, but that's bouncing awkwardly, and Hadzer is up for this. Can he get it down? No. Just sails over the top of the ball. Don't really love to see it, but it was really a nice shot. And now uh, Ryan up again for the double touch. They've been going for these for the last kind of two minutes. With a minute and a half left on the game, Easy W need to get back into this. Yeah, they're about to be oh, that's dethroned. Dangerous. Blah misses Ooh. it for the first time in this game. He's made up, he's, that's his like, second error, I think, of the series now. He almost got punished for it again, but good play. Good game management here by Adzer to slow the game down, wait for him to make a mistake. Two of them are up the field now. Future makes a bad play here and they're in big trouble. That's yeah. not a good play. Yeah, and uh, we don't bim bam now. Just been all their pressure for the last couple of minutes. That's going to be off the ceiling. Can Virtuoso turn on? He chooses not to. Uh, he will get that high. See where he's going. That's a nice kind of almost an school recovery by him. with the reset, maybe? Nearly. Ryan is just going to force his way through oh. two people, but not quite get on target. What's going on Future here? doesn't know what he's doing with the ball. Yeah. Will manage to play <laughs> it's it that camera he uses, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so shaky. Yeah. Fla uh, in control of this ball again. Doesn't get the touchdown, so Azur is control of this with 100 boost. Ryan takes it off. No, a little bit, little bit interesting there. Ryan really feeling himself in this series. 
And now Bert will take this. There's just just constant pressure in Great save, save, Great save on Vlag in though. Like Bert did a really good job. Two few shots out of the game there. And uh, yeah, this is it. They need to score this. That's they're passing back forward, back forward, but will they get there? Not quite. It's just a bit too far ahead of future. Yeah. Vla put a less in, less less of a okay, I guess pass less forward power, yeah. more into this ride, but Looks like it's it. We've got 10 seconds left now. Can Bla do something? Bla! No, he can't. It's not quite there. It's not going to be good enough, unfortunately. And unless they can do something now, it's over. This we have new champions in Rocket League Ireland. It is Vert, Ryan, and Adzer. They've taken down the Titans. A future mug. And a fantastic series. You know, it, it was 4 1. I don't think it was a 4 1 series. It was much closer than that scoreline reflected. Really well played from both sides. In the grand final, I think we deserved after what has been a great day of games from all the players uh, and absolutely delighted for the boys I'm sure we'll get them in here probably for an interview in the near future but just a fantastic series uh, Ryan I think was absolutely a standout player on his team there I'm just delighted to see uh, new champions in Ireland for the first time in a long time I'm being abandoned here by my co-caster and we're going to figure out what's going on in just a second uh, I'm going to mute this microphone and we will get back to you in a few seconds with whatever ends up happening. <laughs> Hello stream, I'm back. We're going to get an interview now with the champions. They're going to come in again for the second time today. And they're going to be interviewed by yours truly and New Alec. You're going to ask a few questions this time as well, okay? So, um, But yeah, what a final. Um, EZW had, they had a um, fighting spirit, I think. Yeah. Let's be fair about them. And, um, Back and forth the whole way through. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. And like they could have won one of those games. Well, it could have been four two. They know they could have taken another game off them. Yeah. In the end, though, a four one win looks a lot more demanding than it was on paper. I think there was yeah. one game where they definitely had them up against the ropes, but every other game was very very close. And um, yeah, a lot of respect was shown halfway through that series. Then, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool. We have the players here now, so we'll ask them exactly how much respect they felt they had to show <laughs> in that series. Cool. I mean, All right, uh, Vert, you can come forward first, I guess. Um, so. One Irish Rocket League tournament, yep. one win. Come into the mic because the mic won't pick you up otherwise. Yep. How was that? And congratulations. Uh, that was uh, fantastic. I was a little bit nervous after game two because I screwed up. Uh, I felt I'm going to start throwing the games, but they carried me. So. <laughs> <laughs> you played well. Um, were they, did EZW give you more fight than you expected based off of how they played against We Vicious? Because mm. they didn't look as good against them and then they showed up against you a bit no, more. No, they weren't that good, so. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. Okay, Adzer, come forward, sure. Yeah. Um, you had a quite serious, I felt like, but you were the third man holding the ropes, and it, the ball never really got past you. And when it did, it was something special that had to get past you. To be honest with you, mm. how did you feel like the series went? You played. Um, I felt like a very nice defensive role, and you allowed your uh, two teammates. Yeah. No, I. I don't know. Something about the PCs. I. I just don't like. <laughs> I, I just don't like the hurts or whatever it is. It just feels really <laughs> clunky. So I was just deciding to let Pat just do his own thing and Vert can clean up Pat's mistakes. And then if it gets past either of them, I can clean up. Yeah, absolutely. And I made a word for you. Was there any point in that series where you guys genuinely think you felt nervous? Uh, after game two, I was a bit weir like weirded out that we actually lost a game. But <laughs> I, I mean, after we got the 5-0, the I, I was OK. We're, we're back to normal. It was definitely cool. a strong statement coming out there. Uh, we're going to come to you last, okay? No, no, last. We're going to yeah, come to him last. Yes. Something else we do is... Right, last. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. Blah, um, I thought you were the standout player in your team. And uh, I, I want to shake your hand because you played really well today. Well done. I tried my best. I yeah. tried my best. Um, good series. I think you gave more of a game than most people expected initially. Yeah. After your Wee Vicious series, it kind of looked a little bit dodgy. I'm not sure. It felt like you were playing down to them. Yeah, maybe I'd say a little for bit. sure it'll explain with the settings why, why <laughs> it was 59 so hertz, close. is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
disappointed in the end, but look, you got a second place wow. and you got, you're bringing home a little bit of dollar. Yeah, so. a little bit, you know. Happy, happy enough? enough? Happy enough. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. I'd just like to ask you before we let you go, I mean, how was it coming in? I mean, obviously, look the future, they played together a huge amount. How was it coming in and kind of integrating with the lads? I mean, I know the lads since DGF and Corplan and all that crack, and I play with them as well in ranked and stuff, so it's, it's not, it, like, I know them for a long time already, so it wasn't too hard, you know, I, it was, it was all good. Yeah. Cool. And uh, last thing is, how are you going to feel about being runner-up in the Formula 4 head championship as well this oh, season? Well, <laughs> I don't know. All, all I know is I found out he got pole, and I cannot believe, I cannot believe that man's on pole. Is it better? But you don't know. Oh, no, no, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Oh, don't I was say about to say it. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 uh, future, come on in, sure. Look, your first ever defeat. So four and five is still a really good record, and I know it's disappointing. Um... But you come home with a small bit of money. Uh, how are you feeling? Disappointed? Yeah, okay. I, I didn't really expect anything. Like I knew they were insane. Oh, I knew they were an insane team, and it, it, they were just like honest twenty four seven. Yeah. You know, it, the pressure was crazy, and they, they're a really good team. That I, I'm not like uh, embarrassed to lose them. Cool. Uh, absolutely. I mean, do you think that there is a point in the future where there's going to be, whether yourselves or any other team in Ireland, who's going to be able to challenge these lads and take them down? Oh yeah, we'll get them eventually. Eventually. Cool. Uh, one last thing. There was a lot of double commits from you and Mug in particular, I felt like. Was there calm issues or what was going on? Because uh, that's normally like your strength, I would say. Yeah, no, like, uh, we just, just had nerves? to like, No, we just had to like, pressure the ball. Since they were always on us, we had to try and do it back and yeah. that's what like, So that's why the errors came from rather than just communication yeah, errors. Yeah. It was more of kind of like, go, for go, the moment. Go. Cool. Cool. Uh, Mug, come on in, sure. Um, look, it had to end sometime. You can't win every land. Maybe, maybe in future. But um, considering how ill you were today, was that a good enough result, second place? Would you take it? Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I thought we were going to get smashed, to be honest, every game. But um, we gave one good game for a few of the games. I think one of the games we got... Three of the games, I would have said, it was yeah. good. Three of the five games were close, I would have said. One of them was like a smashing. The other one was like fairly distant, but three of them were close. So, yeah. um, happy enough? Yeah, no, Vlad was good. Uh, good substitute. Um, he played very good. And just, it was a good, uh, good experience. Yeah, I think... Like that's it. Was it was it weird playing without your kind of third man of its pure logic for the first yeah, time? Yeah, he let you down, didn't he? Bad man, huh? Uh, Bad yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, say it. Unfortunately, yeah, he's just got all this stuff on, so um, it would have been nice to play with him. But like, as I said, Blau was good substitute. Cool. He might come out in the session tonight, anyway. Here. <laughs> cool. Uh, Ryan. Okay. So you're gonna find this out shortly, okay? But you have been voted the MVP of the land, okay? So congratulations. <laughs> right. You, there is a special reward actually, it's pretty cool, it's actually really cool, you're going to see it in a second. Firstly, can I just say uh, and ask, uh, how was the series for you? I felt like you, after game two, because and as are kind of played well in that game, but after that there was like nerves, there was the issue in game two, and Dana felt like you stepped up big time in the offense. I felt like I carried to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take one out of the airbox now and just go full ego, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go on, you ask a question, I can't no, think of I, anything else. I mean, no? that's it. I mean, what are the plans for the future now? I mean, you got to keep playing as a team with a few more lands. Or a rest, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. There so Gia's getting kicked yeah, well, to see your guy or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, <laughs> Poor old man. No, Olympics, Olympics. Oh, Olympics. Ireland, oh, Ireland. oh, Ireland and the Olympics. That sounds, like a, that sounds like a class team, to be honest with you. Cool. Um, cool, right, we're gonna go outside now, guys. Thanks very much for tuning into the stream. Your winners are, of course, We Don't Bim Bam over EZW. Uh, I don't know who finished third. We will keep an eye on the Discord, yeah. We will see you later. Have a nice day. Bye now.